I guess you saw the whole process for I chicken? I did. I had to see it. And when I was, I think I was almost 11, and I rebelled against my father. You know, I would never answer my father back, but I shouted at him, you know, no, and I pushed him, no, 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 you're not making me do this. Yeah. It was, you know, it was all done properly and legitimately, you know, but um, I was so young. And I saw him, all the family had to help out, my brothers, my sister, yeah. uncles, and, you know, there were hundreds of these poor chickens and turkeys. It feels and like it's imprinted on, yeah. It was horrible, I can tell you now. It was horrible. So do you think we can thrive without eating animals? I believe so. Yes, uh-huh. I know the gentleman I've just come from, is, um, he doesn't eat meat. Yeah. He, and he's 97. There you go. And he, when he was a, he, t- um, t- he was vegetarian. I, he's not vegan, but he's vegetarian uh-huh. since he was seven. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know, and um, he's raised his children to be like that. I don't know his children, but um, he's ninety-seven, and he. I feed him. I don't. You know, he doesn't have meat. And do you think, uh, uh, like dairy or eggs? Do you think those are, are uh, we can um, thrive without those as well? Oh gosh, I. I I mean, there's supplements you can have, isn't there? And I mean, you need protein and things. The uh, society, and, and specifically the dairy industry, kind of pounds that you know we need milk for strong bones and protein and a yes, lot of these your things. Your bones and your nails and your uh-huh. teeth and your you know. But then you could I don't know. Can you get that? I drink almond milk. Excellent. I love almond milk. Can you milk. get that from? I drink it purely because I like the taste. I prefer the taste. Yeah, that's a great reason. You know, yeah. it's not because. Cow's milk or goat's milk or uh-huh. I think that's you know I, so can you get the calcium from that I don't yes you can it's a great it's a great question um, uh, the thing that really shocked me is that the four highest um, consumers of dairy so the U S U K um, Finland and another uh, uh, Norway I think um, also had the four highest rates of osteoporosis I was quite shocked when I went to America I've been there three times uh huh. And the diet is disgraceful. Uh huh. Seriously, it yeah. really was. You and do you think that has a negative impact on our health? Most definitely. Yeah. There are a lot of obese people in America. Uh huh. I find. And when I tried to get skimmed milk, uh-huh. they didn't know what skimmed milk was. I couldn't get skimmed yeah. milk. Yeah, and I think to answer your question, if you if you take a carton of uh, cow's milk and almond milk and put them side by side, the nutrients are virtually the same. The protein content, the calcium content, the all fat, these things. Is that? There's the fat, and, and there's also. Uh, are, are you familiar with the um, addictive element of um, dairy products? Addictive? Yeah. So there's a uh, something. I am that's... with coffee. I'm with coffee. <laughs> I am too. Yeah. Um, uh, there's something that um, they, that's in milk called casomorphines. So it's literally a morphine derivative. It's about 10% of the strength of uh, uh, morphine, like you get in the hospital, and it's put it's put there by nature to keep um, calves coming back to their mother, so they don't wander off into the woods and die. The, the problem is it has the same effect on us. So it kind of um, it still has that same uh, dopamine reaction within oh. us. So that's you know I, I, you talk about the the fat, and I think that's a, a serious consideration. But yes. I think there's a lot of things in milk that aren't necessarily that great for us. Um, yeah, so it sounds like you've got some good friends that are kind of vegetarian and vegan. Yes, Is it something you've considered yourself? Vegan, I think, would be hard. My cousin Sharon has done it for six days, uh-huh. and she's doing okay with it because her children are vegan. Uh-huh. It's quite. She has five children, uh-huh. five boys, and three of them. One of them's only little, but three of them are vegan, and they've encouraged her to be vegan. Uh-huh. Not the parent encouraging the child. Yeah. I say child. They're teen, you know, eighteen. Yeah. That's uh, the new generation. I think that's. 22, I think, but they have encouraged their mother. That's brilliant. And she's enjoying it so far. I spoke to her because she's in Wales, and I I spoke to her on FaceTime, and um, she's enjoying it so far. She's feeling good, so. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, I think a big part is just kind of having an open mind, giving it a go. Yeah. And I think the thing is, you can all, it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be for the rest of your life. I think just the openness to kind of, yeah. to try it. She's, um, yeah, she's trying. I, that's a really cool story. Actually, reminds me. Uh, so my sister and mom um, uh, just went vegan, and it's really pulled us closer together. I think kind of going through it together, oh, and it's a really my my husband's sister. She 
Oh my goodness, she will not have anything. She she does all these protests and with she phones us up, you know, don't have this tuna. You know, the animal was cruelly savagely killed and she's very, very much into it. She's in a group by uh-huh. sister in law Sean. Uh-huh. And um She's massively into it. She's not a vegan, but she's a vegetarian. And she loves animals. Yeah. And she's always been a vegetarian all of her life. Uh-huh. Wow. And um, also her sister, my husband. There's my husband and his two sisters. My husband's the only one that isn't vegetarian or vegan. Uh-huh. And you'd think he would be because he's the one with the cholesterol. And, yeah, great point. And high blood pressure. I don't know if high blood pressure contributes. I don't know. My understanding However, is that it's all related. Heart disease is definitely yes. related. But yeah. his, his, my husband is very, he's in the gym as we speak. Uh-huh. He's very fit. He looks, he's very toned and muscly. However, he has the gene which causes high cholesterol. Uh-huh. And, but it would be helped if he didn't eat red meat or, or meats, you know. Yeah. And, um, That's a, one of the brilliant things about veganism because there's no cholesterol in plant foods. Mm. Um, because our bodies naturally produce it, so it's not like we need cholesterol from food. He, so that's. I mean, he get he gets some um, venison. Uh huh. I hate it. Um, so how? Do you, I mean, it sounds you were telling me stories earlier about um, you know the chickens um, uh, when you're growing up. How how do you feel about animal cruelty as a whole within oh the gosh, animal agriculture? I love animals. Yeah. I grew up. I had horses. I grew uh-huh. up on a farm. Like I said, I love yeah. animals. But I think. I really resented my father for what he did. Uh-huh. I understand it was his living and, you know, uh-huh. and we had cows and things. But I had to witness that. And it, I'm not saying it traumatized me, but it really, you know, it was, it was horrible. It was so horrible. Do you think you can buy uh, milk and eggs and meat and not, not support that side of things, that, that cruelty side? Right, I, I also work with a blind girl. Uh-huh. She's 29, and her parents are very much, they live off the earth. Uh-huh. And they have an amazing garden, and they have all their vegetables. She, Debbie, the mother, does all the preserves. I just spent 70 something pounds on jams and pickles. <laughs> but they have chickens. They're jammed up. <laughs> they have chickens. Okay. They don't slaughter them, they have these chickens, people got eggs. Okay. And, um, I mean, eggs, that's fine to have eggs. So, um, are you very familiar with what happens to the male offspring in kind of the dairy and the uh, egg industry? No. So, like they just lay them, don't they? Um, I get fresh eggs off her. Yeah, the, the, the challenge is because um, there are different chickens that are used, as you, pro- you probably know better than I do, yeah. um, for meat as are for eggs. So because the male offspring have no use in both the dairy and egg industry, they're taken away from their mothers straight away um, and, and killed. So that's, um, while the chicken may have a happy life now, um, they come from a breeding system that supports that. So, and uh, it's, it's one of those, I think that's that's on the outskirts of kind of the, the discussion. But I, I, I've yet to come across a scenario where we can use animals for our purposes and the animal doesn't um, get the hard end of it. It's, a, it's dreadful. It's yeah. awful. I know. I, I know. I, even things like, I went to an owl sanctuary. San, sanctuary. Uh-huh. And they were giving the owls little baby dead chicks. Now I had to walk yeah. out because I was very upset by that. They might have been from the egg industry. Uh, yeah. No, I don't. They, little baby chicks with I their know. little feathers on. And really, some were bald, some had little feathers. And that, I know. I thought, oh, did they kill them to feed these owls? Yeah, that's one of the... I don't know, did they? It's, and that's not nature, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's, a lot of people think it's natural to eat these products, but... I know, it's quite yeah. upsetting, isn't it? It's, it's very upsetting. Oh, I, I, can, I, think I, can, so. I can tell you've got a good heart. I think yeah. it's just a matter of following your, I love your heart. An, yeah. I, and my two sons, they love animals, you know. Uh-huh. They love animals. We've been brought up... My, my sons can't walk past a dog yeah. without smoothing it. Cause my son actually got, he had stitches in his nose because he smoothed a dog and it bit him. Just a, a bit but too I, much love. <laughs> he said the dog jumped up. It was a little tiny thing and my son was about eight. But he bent down to smooth it because they can't walk past animals without smoothing or, you know, they love animals. They love animals. Yeah, yeah. and do, do you think that um, um, they'd be shocked to, to see some of the footage that's going on? 
Yes, yeah. I know they would. All of, all I know they would because they. I mean, they both firefighters, and in life that you know they. Before that, they. Like Steve, my eldest son, he saved many lives and human yeah. lives and animals. What's the difference in animals to human? Great, great question. Why? You know why? Why? Yeah. Why are they? I know. And, and my understanding is that um, when you're vegan, you save um, between two and four hundred lives per year. So I'm sure they're great firefighters, but it'd be pretty hard to do um, that. Yeah. And I'm not trying to say you know humans no, no, and animals they, are equal. I don't think that that necessarily needs to be part of the discussion. Yeah. But just to say their lives matter at all. Is really all we're asking, I think. I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, well, I'll give you some information. Um, yes, definitely. So this is um, uh, some of the information that I My found. My cousin Shannon is actually trying to get me to do vegan. Very yeah. Long. So I've, I've scoured the internet, watched everything I can. Um, these three at the top, they're all free, and they're talks, so they're non-graphic. It's just purely informational. And then um, at the bottom, these are kind of more focused on the environment and the health side of things. Okay. And then after you've watched that, um, when you're ready, this is a really cool program called Challenge 22, where you can sign up and you're assigned a mentor. Okay. Um, and you can kind of give it a go and, and just see what you think and see Laura, if there's... Label. Because I don't know the first thing about yeah with vegan. Honestly, so here at the bottom here is my email. Um, so if you email that, you'll get me. Um, so yeah, if you ever have any questions, there's some really good resources. Because I think, yeah. I mean, for me, I, I once I just uh, decided to do it, I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for the first few months. Like oh. that's you know, and then I was you know, and I eventually that's my grandson's all... favorite sandwich, <laughs> peanut butter. He's already a vegan. It's, he already sounds like he could do vegan. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's one of those things um, that it evolves. I know for me, I eat a much more exciting diet than I used to. Yeah. Um, I used to just smother everything in like cheese and sour cream, and now I eat like you know loads of really fresh ingredients, lost yeah. loads of weight, just feel great. So it's yeah. just a matter of kind of. I yeah. know. Gosh, it's not that I haven't thought about. Oh, that's like awesome. I said, a lot of my fat. I'm the guilty one because I do. However, you know, I if if I did a quick meal, if I was. Like, for example, buying a lasagna or something, then I would go for the vegetarian one. I don't uh -huh. know why, but uh -huh. I think I right, less meat. I don't know. Yeah. Do I think about the animals? Of course I do. Of course That's I brilliant. do. Seriously. It, it, it was terrible as a child for that. Yeah. My father took me out from there then. He knew that I meant, you know, I was, eight, I was about ten and a half. And I shouted at him, you know, you're not making me. I didn't have to be, obviously kill them, but I had to pluck them. And it was so sad, and all their blood would be dripping on my shoes because they were upside down, and their right. bodies were still warm. And I tell you something now, I'm filling up now because I hate, I hate it. I hate what my father did. Yeah. I've so resented my father for making me to pluck these. It was horrible. Have you ever done it? It's horrible. So it I volunteer so at an animal sanctuary, um, and we've got about 60 animals, basically yeah. everything you can name, and we've got a few chickens at the moment. Yeah. And yeah, they're, I think they're one of the most misunderstood creatures, and I think um, for these purposes, because they're small, that you know, they're, these things are happen to them, but it's just so nice to see them, um, you know, in a, in a caring environment. Because yes. I'm in there doing stuff in their enclosure, and they're following me around, and they kind of look at me either side, and they're really fascinating creatures. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know. It's I'm very much a person. I'm not intelligent. I'm far from intelligent. But you could have fooled me. <laughs> no, I absolutely am not. But I'm very much. I don't even see like why are we above animals? You know, at the top of the like food chain or whatever. I don't know. But I don't even think humans are like that. I, I everybody's equal to me. I mean, animals yeah. killing animals is nature. You know, they have to survive. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have to eat them. We don't have to kill them and eat them. Yeah, I think that we when you, when you watch that. the way we do it, I mean, the, uh, the I screens we have are 98%. So of, of is that showing? Yeah, it's I can't watch that because that's... I, I wouldn't... Yeah, I think, I think there's a place for that. Um, but that's why I focus more on the informational side because I think the, the truth speak, uh, speaks for itself. I mean... Yeah. I mean, this will bring it to hope because I'm very much a person that... Um, if I don't see it, I don't think about it. But it needs to be brought to attention, I think, yeah. doesn't it? I you think, know, because you think, yeah. right, okay, I know it goes on, but don't think about it. Like a lot of things that goes on in life, which is wrong. Yeah. But that's ignorance, isn't it? That's totally ignorance. And I will... Oh, that's awesome. I will, I promise you. I promise you, I will. The rescue of these turtles is just the best thing ever, the best feeling. Yeah. You know, whether it was a cat up a tree 
that my son rescues is rescuing That's an awesome. And, and with veganism, you can save two to four hundred per year. So. Oh, <laughs> but, uh, it's that much. Yeah. Oh, I know. <laughs> you might not get to meet them, but they're there and they're thanking yes, you. So I know, yeah, it's. I know. Well, right. Okay. Well, I better go. Yeah, I'll let you. <laughs> my skin's getting wet. Oh. Let me go there. I will watch them. I promise. I will watch oh, them. Oh, thank you, Diane. Appreciate that. I I don't want to look at them. You don't have to. No, thank you. I don't watch it either. Once you've watched it once, that's enough. Okay, thank you. Cheers, Diane. Bye. Yeah, so that was the interview. In my opinion, they are in the contemplation phase, and it's my hope that as part of our chat um, and the subsequent reflection, that they'll move into that preparation or action stage um, as they've acknowledged the issues and it's really just kind of moving them towards acknowledging that there's something they can do about it. So I really focused on building their support network and helping them get the tools in place so that they're ready um, um, to give veganism a, a, a good shot. Um, if you think the chat was effective, let me know in the comments below. Um, if there's some strategies you uh, think that were particularly effective, um, let me know that too and maybe some things that I could work on. So really appreciate any feedback you have. Do you want to miss out on the next video? I didn't think so. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you next time.